Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at my 400 watt metal halide high bay light turning on with a clear bulb, okay? Now this is actually the bulb that came with the with that um, 400 watt mercury vapor low bay light, okay, as in this light right here. This is the bulb that came with it, okay? Now this bulb here, I don't know who makes it, I think it had no brand name on it, I think, it's, I think it might be Sylvania, okay? It could be a Sylvania or probably an Ostrom, I don't know. The phosphor coated bulb is made by Ostrom, okay, but I think this one might be Sylvania. Okay, so okay, so we'll get a look at it. Okay, you can see the arc tube in there. Okay, so that's the arc tube. And down there I think is a little um I don't know what that is. It's some kind of fuse. On a mercury vapor lamp, it's a starter, but I think that might be some sort of starter, I don't really know. Okay, but you can see the arc tube there, okay. Now, I don't know why this um, support has a white thing on it. Maybe it's to protect it from the heat from the arc tube. Okay, so um, so we're going to watch this turning on with this clear bulb. Now, you've got to be careful with these clear bulbs because they do put off UV radiation, which is not good for your eyes, as where the phosphor-coated ones don't. Okay, so, um, so let's turn this on. Here we go. Now these metal halide lights put out a warm, a neutral white colour. Okay, well the phosphor coated ones do. I don't know what the clear ones put out. I think the clear ones put out like a greenish, bluish colour. <laughs> okay, now the metal halide doesn't take long to heat up. Okay, uh, it's where mercury vapour and high pressure sodium lamps do take some time to warm up. Hmm. We'll get a look at that arc tube from here. If you can see that, it is getting warm. Okay, it is. It's warming up. It does rattle a bit. So this is a clear metal halide lamp. Okay, and this one here is actually the football shape. It's not the long tubular shape. Okay, because the clear ones you can get them in this shape or the clear tubular shape. Okay, now that's warming up. It's also getting very hot. Okay. This type of bulb here you can probably use for um, for plants. Okay, you know, like when you're growing plants. Um, these are also used for illegal, for illegal drugs as well, like cannabis, for example. The illegal drugs dealers use these metal halide lamps to grow their cannabis which is not surprising, fancy using a light for evil when you're supposed to be using it just for collectability. Well, for me, this is just for collectability purposes, it's not for plant growth. Now, I wouldn't be using this bulb too much because it does throw off UV and it's not good for my eyes. I use the, the, the phosphor coated one always. Okay. Now, the difference between this and a high pressure sodium is basically the arc tube. Now, I am trying to get a clear mercury vapor bulb, but they're quite hard to find here in Australia. Okay, but um, but yeah. Now this one here puts off um kind of a bluish color. It doesn't put off a um. Well, it looks like it puts off a cool white color compared to the um phosphor coated one that puts off a neutral white. Okay. Yeah, that's at full brightness now. Okay. Uh, we can take a look around the room. It is kind of cool white. It looks kind of cool white. I've got a cool white LED tube there. You can see it almost looks identical to the color temperature. I think this is cool white, not neutral white. It's at full brightness now. Okay, now I'm not going to be. No, I'm not looking directly at this bulb. I'm looking at through my iPad screen because it does put off UV. Okay, so that's at full brightness now. Okay, so that. Okay, so now we'll watch it turn off. Here we go. And there you go. So that is a 400 watt mercury, I mean metal halide clear bulb. Hope you enjoyed and that'll be it.